Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have a layout using the September kit double scoop from Studio Calico and it's my first layout using this kit and of course now I have a whole new uh, selection of papers and um, I actually find it a little difficult to to scrap with a new kit um, just because I have no scraps and I feel a little lost but I'm going to use that watercolor background as my as my background and then I'm looking for uh, a navy to mat my photo because I really wanted it to stand out against the rest of the paper and I'm going to use um, I think it's the back side to that hashtag. Nope. The back side to the hashtag is that stripe paper. And I'm going to cut out a piece. Oh no. The back side to that stripe is that bluish color. So I'm going to cut a piece off and then I'm just going to, whatever's left over, I'm going to flip it the other way. And now I'm going to just roughly cut around using my scissors. And that's basically just going to be the base for my photos. And I'm going to move it down to the bottom again because that's where I'm going to put my journaling card. And I'm going to do my journaling. And this is a picture that um, when we had gone apple picking, we were on our way out and my daughter was being silly and taking selfies of herself. But then she said, you know, let's do a family selfie. So the only one missing is my son. I have no idea where he was. I either he crouched down or <laughs> at the time we didn't notice that he didn't get in the photo. We thought all of us were in the photo, but he he's 14 and he hates taking pictures. So whenever he can you know, kind of bowed of the picture, he will do it. So <clears throat> it's not something that we can, you know, I, did, I should have looked at the picture right away and then taken another one, but I just noticed when I got them developed. So now I'm going to take a couple of stripes off this, a couple of strips off this stripe paper, and I'm just going to put it at the top and the bottom of the layout. And I made it kind of wonky. Uh, so it's not in a straight line and that's the way I liked it and then that pattern there was one of the patterns that had a whole bunch of sayings in the back and what I did was I cut it all apart before I even started working with the papers and then that way as I'm making my layouts I'm going to that stash to see if there's anything that I can use on this layout so there was quite a few that sort of coordinated or matched or um, with this layout and I'm having one hard time separating these doilies and they're just um, four inch doilies and they are from there it's called Dove Crafts and paper lace doily and there's 40 in one package and I paid like four dollars and I got them at Simon Says Stamps and I just love them and whenever I can cut them in half I do so instead of getting you know 40 doilies it's like I got 80 because most of the, I never rarely I shouldn't say never I rarely use more than one per page now I'm using my EK success powder tool to take away the stickiness from a, from these stickers and I'm gonna decide on using this blue it's like a navy and an aqua instead to put my title and I like it much better because it coordinates with the rest of the layout. The other one was just just too pink but I'm still going to use it. I'm going to cut it and use it in a, a few <laughs> a few different places on the layout. Can't talk today. So I didn't know if I wanted to use those stars or not and I end up not using them and they came in the kit. And I still haven't cut those tags apart that came in the kit, but I'll probably cut them apart and just have them in my tray because then, because they weren't cut apart, I didn't even want to use them on this layout because it's just too much work. And then there was um, 
some ribbon. Oh, what's it called? What is it called? I have a big roll of it. Seam binding, seam binding ribbon, and it's in pink. And I'm not going to end up using it. I just couldn't figure out how to make it work on this layout. And I used one of those uh, cork frames that came in the kit. And then also it said in this, because this is the September kit, it had the September 2013. So I thought it was perfect that I could use on this page. My ATG ran out, so I'm just going to load my ATG gun. And it's, I get that, um, as you can tell, most of the ATG usually they're, it's a white and this one is yellow. It's still acid free, but instead of being like $4 a roll or $5 a roll, I pay like a dollar seventy. And my friend gets them in the States and whenever she orders, she or always orders like 300 rolls and she usually calls me ahead of time to see, you know, how many I want and usually I'll get like, you know, 60, 70 rolls and then I'm good for for the year <laughs> but I just don't want to run out because um, it is my main adhesive that's what I use between that and my quick dry adhesive those are my two main adhesive like I use the this to that dot adhesive but that I just use it for uh, my twine and also I put the adhesive on my layout when I because what I do is I t t photograph my photo I have this poster board thing that I got at Staples and I, I glue it onto that and I take the photo. So now I want to add some more texture to the back to the background so that it came with a roller stamp I guess <clears throat> and it's from Glitz and it has little arrows so I took out uh, the pink ink pale tomato and then I took the mint green and I'm just going to put a few roller passes with those two inks. And again, it's just to add some texture. I had a couple people um, sort of challenge me to use uh, more stamps. And when I look back, I think in the last few layouts, I had been using stamps anyway. I think I kind of had told myself that this year I was going to try and incorporate at least one stamp whether it is to the background or to make my own element um, I do buy a lot of stamps I love stamps but I wasn't using them enough on my pages I was using them sometimes but I'd like to use them a little bit more so I'm going to try and I'm not saying that I'm going to use them on every layout but I'm certainly going to take it out and try to push myself to use it on almost every layout so that frame I cut it in half and I'm going to put it to the bottom left in the top right of the layout and it sort of frames that little cluster I use the branding strip I cut it in three I'm going to put it in the three of the clusters and it has a nice chevron and um, every time I cut a brand brand strip off I try to use it up right away and if I don't, I don't throw it out. I keep it because a lot of the times that brand strip has, you know, beautiful colors that coordinates with some of the papers that are in the collection. So it's just, instead of using washi or ribbon, you can use that branding strip and it adds te more texture to the page. And why throw it out when it's awesome? <laughs> so one of the stamps that came in this month's kit is this cute little camera. And it has a heart where the flash is. So I'm going to stamp it out a few times and I'm going to use it on this layout as an element. But before I do that, I'm just going to glue down, you know, the, the base of the, the layout, the bottom pattern papers and the doilies. And I use a combination of my ATG gun and my quick dry adhesive. And I went to Michael's was it yesterday or the day before yesterday and they had some again so I bought another bottle so I should be good I think I have six or seven bottles now so I think I'll be good because my Michaels will go months without getting any I'm talking like 
you know, eight, nine months. So whenever I see um, the glue, I always get, you know, four, five, six bottles just to make sure that I don't run out. So at first I thought I was going to use that extra little piece of pattern paper in between September and the pink one. Uh, but I'm going to take that out and I'm just going to put the September right close to the pinker piece of pattern paper. Now I'm trying to figure out, you know, what other stamp set I can use and from the kit again. And I think it was the uh, project. No, it was the extra stamp set that you could buy with this kit. And it says, love it. And I'm going to stamp it a few times on this layout. And I believe now I'm just looking for paper that I can stamp on. And I like to have, I, I like the paper to have a little bit of pattern in behind. Because once it dries, it kind of shows. So I'm going to, at first, stamp it with Tide Pool Blue. But it just doesn't coordinate whatsoever. So then I'm going to take my Pale Tomato. And I'm going to stamp it out a few times. And then what I did was I just got some grid paper from um, Project Life. They're the 4x6 cards. So I have two cards and now I'm going to stamp it out in navy. And even if I don't use them all right now, I'm just going to, you know, cut them out and keep them so that I can use them on another layout. So now I'm just going to detail cut around each camera and I'm just going to end up using two, actually two and a half on this layout because the third one you just barely see a little bit of the camera. And it was just basically so that it would add color to that side of the layout. I'm not really sure where the cameras are going to fit at this point. And I know I want to put that word love it at the top of the layout, but I'm going to put part of the camera on that side also. So at this point, I'm going to take out another stamping block and I'm going to stamp, I believe the word love it and I'm going to stamp it in three spots. I guess before I do that, um, when I don't know, you know, what I want to do or how I want to do it, I move on to something that I know, you know, that I'm ready for. So I knew that pattern paper that said limited edition print, I knew that was going to stay right there. And then that tag or that um, label, I knew I wanted it there. So... I glued that down and I'm putting foam tape in behind all the areas that all, you know, the elements that I want to add some pop to. So at this point, I know that I want to stamp that word and I just decide to commit to it and I'm going to stamp it in three different spots and just three spots around the layout. And this layout took, um, I can't remember if I said it at the beginning, but it took an hour and 14 minutes to complete. And I've already um, completed the second layout using this kit. And what date are we today? I know we're Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know what date we are. Um, I never remembered the date. I think we're the 29th. And tomorrow I go back to work the 30th. So I'm hoping to have um, a few videos so that I can keep uploading every second day. And I also have, I'm going to, in between this kit, the new kit, and the old kit, which was Marks & Company, before this layout is up, I'm actually going to have the Killer Kit video. And I'm going to have my paper selection for this kit. So you'll be seeing though, those will be up on my YouTube channel before this layout is up. I just haven't filmed the Killer Kit video yet, but I've done the paper selection because I wanted to do that before I start cutting into the paper. So now I'm looking, we got some little die cut feathers in this month's kit. 
and I'm trying to use them up and I'm going to find there's not three teal but there's two teal and a white so I'm going to use that up and I've done pretty well to just stick to the stuff that came in the kit I've used the frames I've used die cuts I've used those feathers I've used the stamp elements and now I'm going to use these thickers and they're gray and they totally don't coordinate with this page whatsoever but I'm going to take um, a Copic marker and where it's a light gray I'm able to take a navy Copic marker and I'm going to color them over and Copic you can color over plastics metal um, you know anything that normally will wipe off Copic will dry to it and so it turned those le letters from gray to a nice navy no problem so I know that I'll be able to use a lot of these thickers this month because I love the font and there's a couple other fonts that came in this month's kit but they're not easily changeable because the letter is inside of the block and it's not the letter itself so these are the only ones that I'll be able to change the color so, and I also took some Kelly Perky white letters and I bought a whole bunch in white because then I can change them usually I change them with my ink my inks or my daubers or and this time I just took another um, Copic marker and I just took like a teal and I changed the word family so that it would coordinate if you have just a few Copics uh, you can change your your embellishments to match whatever layout that you have and that's an awesome <clears throat> excuse me an awesome little tool to have around because sometimes your enamel dots um, they're just a color off you know the the blue that you need or the brown or but with a Copic marker you can just change the elements to, to fit your needs and they're they're not cheap Copic markers aren't cheap but if you have them in your arsenal of things then it's it's a good thing to use them instead of them just sitting there just you know to use to use the ones that you do have so it was a little crooked and when I picked it up to straighten it it kind of unglued itself and then I had to re-glue it and the um, thickers were still a little wet so I'm trying to glue it down without touching the thickers because I didn't want to take the color away because until they're dried then you can remove the color but I'm I'm touching them right now and that color isn't coming off so I'm going to add um, the feathers and you see me pointing there was a feather that was next to the word or to that die cut and it was gone so then I start looking through my stuff and I found it on the wax paper and then I'm going to start putting some enamel dots and my camera's going to die and I'm not going to wait for the camera to charge up again because I just want to get a few pages done before um, you know I go back to work so all I did was add the enamel dots I balled up some twine and I added some Heidi Swap mist in three colors in blue in teal and in pink so that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye